Okay, so on one of my videos in the comments section, someone called It's Barney asked me, do you ever use regular N by N by Ns besides 3x3? Three three? If so, what are some of your other favourites and which ones do you have? Um, so I was actually going to just tell him in the com or her in the comments section. Um, but then I thought, you know something, it would be better if I actually just made a video um, showing the puzzles and, and talking about them. So you asked me which ones do I have. Well, I'm not going to show them all in this video because I will, I will end up showing them all when I do a collection video um, but I will show what my favourites are and um, I'll explain why they are my favourites so starting off with the 2 by 2s I don't really think this needs any explanation for why it's my favourite it's uh, I mean look at it it's just a massive absolutely massive 2 by 2 um, yeah I've still not got around to stickering it yet you can also put 3 by 3s inside each of these cubers you know, to give it a colour scheme. Um, the reason why I've not stickered it yet is because I'm just finding it really hard to decide whether to just use square stickers um, or whether to use stickers that will actually like fit the shape of these cubers. I don't know. And yeah, it seems to turn pretty much fine. Next is the Rubik's Plush 2x2. It's just a, you know, it turns really badly, but it's, you know, it's a fun novelty cube. Here we have the Edison 2x2. Two two. Um, yeah, it's barely got any corner coin at all, but I really like the way it looks, and I still kind of find it fun to solve, and it's a, a very rare puzzle as well. Next up we have an East Sheen 2x2. Two two. These used to be good 2x2 two two speed cubes back in the day, I think in the late 2000s. Um, they barely have any corner cutting at all, so you've got to be like you've got to have really good cube control with this, um, you know, so it doesn't lock up. But yeah, just even though it's like a terrible cube by today's standards, I just like the feel of it. I enjoy solving it for some reason. Next up is this Lamlon two by two. Now, in the late two thousands, I wanted to get a two by two, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just get the best one so I think I asked on a forum I can't remember what the name of the forum is I think it might be uh, speedsolving.com or something I asked like what's the best 2x2 two two? and uh, a few people told me the Lamlon 2x2 two two, so I ended up buying it and um, yeah it's uh, I, th I think it's a really nice 2x2 two two. It's, uh, it's got a really nice feel to it and it's my first ever 2x2 two two. when I bought this it was when I just got into the hobby. I think um, I think when I bought this I only had a he three x three and that was it. Here we have the uh, the Yushin two x two with rat stickers on it. So this was made before Yushin became popular and it became a you know before it became a well known brand amongst uh, speed cubers. And I just really like the feel of it. I think it's a I mean, I don't know how it compares to like the best speed cubes of today, but I really like the feel of it. It's got a really nice kind of crispy feeling, and it you know it feels like a good speed cube. I'm doing pretty badly at the sex move because my arms are kind of stretched out. Next, we have a Dancheng two x two. I really like the way this looks. Um, it's kind of got like raised squares on each cube, and this is another crispy feeling 2x2 two two. and it, it sounds crispy as well really nice 2x2 two two. here we have a Fangxi 2x2 two two. again feels really nice and um, I just love the way it looks um, you know it's got like these heart tiles but the tiles are actually stuck on the other side of the plastic and I've never really seen that done on a cube before so it kind of they kind of look as though they're inside the plastic. Maybe they are actually inside the plastic, I don't know. But yeah, it's a really nice puzzle. And then the last one for the 2x2s two is uh, this Chi 2x2. Two two. I think it's called a Dimension 2x2. Two two. Love the way it looks and um, yeah, it's a nice puzzle to, uh, to solve. So 
so it's bound it did say besides 3x3 and I'm actually glad about that because if I was to show like my favourite 3x3s I'd be showing loads of them because I've got absolutely loads of 3x3s and the video will probably drag on a bit too long so up next are the uh, 4x4s my favourite 4x4s in my collection so here we have this Dan Cheng 4x4 turns really badly very stiff um, but it just looks cool so I think it's called a bead 4x4 so the uh, the Maru 4x4 I think this is version 2 um, in clear blue plastic you know I really like the feel of this cube except for when it completely locks up and it does completely lock up often and um, there's some kind of a mod that you can do to stop it from doing that and I've not got around to doing it yet but um, see it's kind of locked up then but yeah when it's not locking up I just really like the feel of it I would I would actually really really like this cube if it didn't lock up next is this East Chain 4x4 um, yeah it doesn't really have good corner cutting but I just really like the way it feels it's kind of kind of makes a swishy sound and yeah it's just it's just fun to solve um, this isn't a sticker mod because uh, these stickers they don't change how it solves um, you just solve it by the shapes on the stickers rather than the colours um, but yeah these are glow in the dark stickers and I just think it's really really nice looking and it's fun to solve it in the dark when it's glowing and this was my first ever 4x4 so this is the last of my favourite 4x4s it's a uh, Whedon 4x4 yeah a lot of people say this really sucks and it, and it does you know it doesn't really have the best turning or anything but um, it's just a really fun novelty cube it's, I find it very fun to solve just because of the fact that it's, uh, that it's really small and I mean yeah, if you was to try and speed cube this, you would probably get really frustrated and you'd think it's just a really crap cube. Um, but for just like a casual solve, like at a slower speed, um, I think it really isn't that bad at all, the turning. So, onto the 5x5s. I don't have that many 5x5s in my collection, so that's why I've only got two favourites. So this is the uh, the Shengxiao 5x5, um, yeah just a really nice 5x5, really nice turning. And then we've got this Maru 5x5, it doesn't really have the best turning, um, but I just really like the way it feels. The outer layers really aren't too bad at all, um, in fact it's, it's strange how this actually turns a lot better than the Maru 4x4. You would think, because this has got more pieces, you would think it would turn worse than the uh, the 4x4, but it doesn't. Um, the inner layers, they don't turn as well though, as the uh, the outer layers. But yes, I think it's really nice looking as well, in blue. Let's try and fit it in there. And then, lastly, my Shang Shao 8x8. Really fun puzzle to solve. Um, does take quite a while because it's an 8x8. Um, it's kind of. It seems that if I was to go any higher than this, like 9x9 nine, nine nine and above, I would just probably find them too tedious to solve because this does take quite a long time to solve. But I still find it very fun as well. And uh, once again, it has, it has nice turning, really. So, those are all of my favourite end by end by ends in my collection, besides uh, the 3x3. Thanks for watching.